parties. You ever get invited to that one party that you just don't want to go to? Ah, oh, sweet cheeks, come to Grammy! That? Is every single party. Like, you should know right away, I'm not a party animal. I'm not even a people person. Like, that's why I learned to juggle. I saw some kids playing catch and thought, I want to do that alone. And yet I get upset if I wasn't invited. Why? I wasn't gonna go when I was invited. Here's the thing, I think more people will go to parties if it was a guaranteed good time. And I'm not talking about huge fancy parties, so the crazy swimming pools and the super hot sexy supermodels and the bushes that are sculpted into the shape of the guy whose party it is. You know, like an Oscar party or a Saturday morning at John Stamos' house. No, I'm talking about those little parties at a friend's house or a friend of a friend's house. You know, like, the people are weird. But you still feel like you should go, because they're nice people. Like a party at Honey Boo Boo's house. You know what? I feel like it shouldn't be weird to go to a party. I mean, it's a freaking party. And yet it is. I think it's because we all get a little bit of something called PA. You know, party anxiety. And I... I'm sick of it. It shouldn't be that hard to throw a good party. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay down some rules. And just before we get into it, the last thing I'm gonna tell you is so mind-blowing. It is gonna change the way you go to parties forever. This is the Dum Dum's Guide to Throwing a Party. Rule number one, have a dog. I don't even care if it's your dog. Just find some neighborhood pooch, okay? They are the go-to savior of the party. Y'all been stuck on some couch next to people you don't know, playing with some lamp, wishing you had a friend, when all of a sudden it's... Yeah, the dog saves the day. Dogs do amazing things. They lead the blind, they shoot basketballs and air bud. Now they make me look cooler than that guy that keeps turning the lamp on and off. Rule number two, tell me to leave. Why is it as soon as we get to a party, the first thing we think is, how long should I stay? You start drafting up all these plans on how you should leave. You think if we stay for an hour, that'll be enough? Let's just leave when somebody else leaves. Sounds like a plan. You stay here. I'm gonna lure that guy away from the dog. And then you play with it. Done deal. That is so stupid. It doesn't matter how long you stay. Nobody is sitting there with a sniper rifle and a stopwatch going, I hope someone leaves early. In fact, they're just happy you came at all. Like you could literally just slam open the door, <laughs> start running around going, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and then leave. And you would be the most memorable part of the party. Now, what if it's your party? What is the nicest way to tell me to leave? As soon as I get to the party, give me a high five. Boom. Say, yeah, you can just leave whenever you want. That's it. Okay, it's that easy. Now I can stay for just 15 minutes, pet the dog, and leave. Rule number three, you better have food. Seriously, I thought it was just me, but I asked on Snapchat, and I got over 100 people that said their favorite part of a party is the food. Of course it is, food's delicious. It's probably the only thing that gets me to go to a party. I'm like, oh, that'll probably be good food. This might be controversial, but chips doesn't count as a good food, okay? I mean, you can buy it at a gas station. When is the last time you walked out of a gas station being like, oh man! They got great food in there! That has never happened! I'm not saying you have to prepare amazing food, okay? Good food can be mediocre, alright? That's why people go to Applebee's. So just have some good food, alright? Then I can stay for 15 minutes, pet the dog, eat some cake, and peace out. Now believe it or not, there's only one rule left, but this is the part I couldn't even believe. When I was talking to you guys on Snapchat and Instagram, I also asked you what you hated the most about parties. And almost every single one of you said the same thing. People. What you hate most about parties is the people. Yeah, we're all in agreement on this. No one likes the people. Me neither. But in order to have a party, you need people. Unless you're having a party for one. I've seen that. I was on a subway in Boston. This guy was dressed up like a dinosaur, dancing around and yelling at himself. And you know what? I think he had a really great time. But I got a feeling that's not the party you want to attend. So that brings me to rule number four. Treat me like a kid. Why? Kids love parties. Think about it. Kids never want to leave parties. No! Never! And yeah, I'm kind of jealous. You know why? They're playing with all their friends. But I'm stuck here knowing nobody. I got a great idea. Let's drop Timmy off at a random house with balloons and tell him it's a party. Hello, can I help you? Um... Can I play with your dog? See, you would never do that to a kid. He'd hate it. And he'd go to jail. Putting me in a room with strangers and saying it's a party. Real fun. Next week, let's hang out on an elevator. You know what a kid's party has? Their friends, good food, a dog, and you tell me when to leave. Until then, I'm throwing my own parties, okay? Riding the subway dressed up as a dinosaur. <laughs> I love the dabbing dinosaur. Yo, Clarkers, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, gotta give it a thumbs up so I know to make more. And leave a comment down below about what you hate or love about parties, or just give props to the dabbing dinosaur. I'm It's Alice Clark, and I will see you somewhere, okay? 